take our Bibles, turn to the oldest book in the Bible. The oldest book in the Bible. Some of you will go to Genesis, and I, I can't fault you for that, but it's it's probably not the oldest book in the Bible. Some of you might turn to Psalms, and I probably couldn't fault you for that because it was written over a period of a thousand years. Um, but the oldest book in the Bible is probably the book of Job. 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 You're correct. Some of you are already there. Some of you say, well, I was turning there. I was on my way there, and you interrupted me talking to me about where it was. So. The book of Job. Turn to the book of Job, chapter 14. Chapter 14. I want to preach to you this message, another standalone message. The greatest question in life. The greatest question in life. The greatest question. Job, chapter 14. I could think, I have made a list of life's greatest questions. I have a lot of questions. I've often, always liked to ask questions. When I was young, when I was a child, I had lots of questions. Some of you have children like that. Some of you are like that. You like to ask questions. You, you, you wonder how do things work? Or why are things the way they are? Or what, uh, what does that mean? And uh, Questions are a good thing. Questions can be a good way to teach. The Socratic method is called asking questions, getting people to think. Even when you know the answer, you want them to find, but you ask, you ask them questions. Uh, Jesus used that. He, he would ask questions. Of course, he knew the answers, but um, the questions help people frame.